good morning students welcome back to java class in today's class i'll explain you a one more graphical user interface that is a swing see already we completed awt see awt is a package it contains a different components like a text field text area buttons list you can place all those on the panel or on the frame in order to create a web application so if you want to collect any data from a user we can add a different types of components on the frame on the window using a awt but using a awt whatever classes you are using whatever components you are adding the presentation of that components depends on the operating system depends on the operating system the components will be displayed on the screen so complete using awt whatever uh, applications you are designing that is completely based on the operating system dependent on so awt is a completely operating system dependent means when you change the operating system the representation of presentation of that uh, components will also change okay why because awt is a completely operating system dependent and uh, awt does not support a few applications from a swing okay so j applet j panel such things is not j frame is not supported by the awt so in order to create a lightweight uh, uh, in order to use a lightweight components on the web pages here we have a, a new topic uh, new ch new topic that is a swing okay swing is a graphical user interface like awt okay swing is also a graphical user interface like awt and uh, it is from a oracle java's foundation class okay it is from a oracle java foundation and what is the main use of this this uh, swing is also used to design different applications web applications and uh, it is an extension of awt it is built on the top of awt okay whatever awt features are there that are also supported by the swing and it is having its own features okay now and whatever classes you have in a swing all are written in a java only and in order to use the components from a swing we need to use javax swing package and uh, this package contains a uh, different classes different components using that we can design an application okay here see one more the main advantages of this uh, swing is the components of a swing are completely platform independent whereas awt components are platform dependent and the swing components are platform independent means whatever uh, components you are using that is means that the components are not displayed based on the operating system okay so and it is also it's a lightweight process it, it does not require that much code to to uh, include now here you can see the hierarchy the same hierarchy like as you have in you know, a awt same components again components again divided into the two things containers and j components and j components again divided into the means a j labels j list j table j com box j slider like this such things already have explained in a awt and come to the container containers means on that you can place a different components window panel frame dialog and applet now here all the components in swing like j button j com box combo box j list j label are inherited from the j component class means whatever uh, example if you want to use a j button you that j button should extend the j component class because it is getting a different properties from a j component class and whatever this components are they are not that are all a child of j component class okay next and whatever components are there that components are added to the containers see actually container is a collection of different components so whatever components you are adding that should inherit component class and whatever components you are adding that should be uh, that should that should be added to the 
con container okay so this is about swinger now here you see the difference difference between awt and a swing actually most of the time they will ask this type of question in the exam what is the difference between awt and the swings already we completed awt okay and uh, it is a what is the full form of awt abstract window toolkit and for this it has no full version now it is used to design web applications already i explained using this you can create a, a graphical user interface okay and using swing also you can create graphical user inter interface okay but here whatever applications are there you know, that are lightweight now here you see the third point the components whatever components you have in a awt that are heavy weighted and here in swing the components are light weighted next point in java whatever components are there that are platform dependent whereas whatever components are there in a swing that are platform independent okay the functionality of java uh, awt is less than as compared to the java swing so functionality is whatever functions uh, features we are getting from awt that are less compared to the swing next uh, uh, this awt components required more time for execution whereas swing require less time for execution next uh, uh, like uh, we have a uh, two or three advantages in a awt okay you can go through this now next topic is what is a container class see already in the hierarchy j component j container two classes i explained in right so j uh, actually what is a container see container is a collection of something generally container is a collection of something so here container is a class okay classes and that can have other components on it see example uh, container uh, is nothing but okay, one frame on that frame we are putting all the text field text here means we are adding different components to that container so we can say that a container is a collection of the components so if you want to display components on the screen where that component should be added that component should be added to the container classes you can use any container but the thing is here all the components like uh, buttons check boxes say whatever you have all those will be added to the container only because container is a place which displays all the components so if you want to display the components it obviously you need to add this components to the containers okay now j frame so j frame actually frame is nothing but it is the container only and in this it is like a window see when you open any web application when you open a browser window there is nothing but one frame only where you can display the content okay and if you want to collect any data from a user we'll open a web page and we'll enter the data means already components are added to that frame understood so here frame is nothing but it is a window okay it is treated as a window in frame different elements like a check boxes radio buttons and different j tables like that all components will be added on that window next term uh, here, here you can see how to create j frame see it is a frame you first uh, in swing also first frame should be created next different components are added to that frame understood first frame will be created next different components will be added to that frame now so when you are creating a frame you need to use a uh, different methods from a swing package okay what methods what constructors are used used to create a frame so here there are three co uh, constructors see here i have given theory j frame class has many constructors that are used to create a new frame means we have a different constructors using that you can create a window as i already said frame is nothing but it is a window okay now here three components you can see j frame j frame string title j frame graphics configuration gc okay 
see your j frame j frame when you use this constructor empty window will be displayed because i am not giving any title because it is a default constructor it is a empty constructor in the parenthesis no arguments so if nothing is given inside the parenthesis one you won't get any title just it will create the frame that's it now j frame string title so here we are passing one parameter means it is a parameterized constructor and what parameter we are giving title we are giving title we are giving means a window will be created and one title will also be given to that window see j frame string title it helps in creating a frame with the title so frame will be created and uh, title will also be passed to that window now j frame gc graphics conf uh, configuration g is an object it creates a frame var frame with the blank title and the graphics configuration of a screen means it provides some features to add the graphics see here i have given example j frame f equals to new j frame so here as i already said it is a constructor and it is a empty constructor you can see understood so f is a object of j frame class and new j frame is a constructor i am not passing anything inside the parameter so it is called as a empty constructor right now the second one is j frame f1 equals to new j frame here j frame is a constructor you need to remember j frame is a constructor but in the bracket what i have given red alert i have given so red alert is a string yes how do so three types of constructor i said first one is a default means empty constructor the second one is a constructor and in the bracket i have given the title so here what is the title i have given to the window red alert so it is optional you can give any title so just here i am giving red alert as a title now after creating a frame if you want to set the sizes you can give see first here i am creating i have created the frame and what is the title of that frame red alert now set the size width and height in the pixels okay so if you want to set the size of the window we'll use the method set size okay so in set size first s in a lower case and second set in a second s in a capital 450 width 475 height okay 450 is a width 475 is a height of that window okay i repeat width is a 450 and height is a 475 it is the sizes of the window it, these are not sizes of the components this these are the sizes of only the frame window now see the location you can give the location also where where it should be 120 and 60 exact location we can give and that is calculated from the browser window size now you can see the frame program here as i already said if you want to use the uh, j frame swing components you need to import javax swing package okay javax swing package so import javax swing means you can use all the components of that uh, package because uh, here i am importing complete package there i have given asterisk public class here i want to display my components on the browser window so that is why here i am giving a public class is a keyword demo j frame is the name of the class extends j frame so which class we are inheriting j frame okay so here demo j frame extends j frame means demo j frame can take all the classes from a, all the methods from a j frame here j frame one uh, object i am creating now what is the title here a sample frame now in that frame i am creating one button j button button is an object equals to new j button okay new j button button is an object new j button is a constructor again here you see click okay one button will be created 
and what is the label of that button click means on the on that button what you will get click that a label you will get now you can see the button border is four coordinates left right top and bottom so 100 100 115 55 so these are the boundaries of that button now after see here frame we have created after creating the frame what we are doing i have created one button object after that i have given the size of that button and that button i am adding to the frame by using a add method okay add button so button will be added to the screen now set default close operation j frame dot exit on close so whenever the user click on the close button immediately the frame should be closed automatically okay now size of the frame is 300 300 400 300 400 width and 300 height of the frame okay it is visible true so it is a constructor it is automatically called when it is uh, when you start the main method so this is about frame now you see the j applet see already uh, we completed uh, applets in a uh, in the fourth unit right applet means you can display your uh, java program on the browser window by using a applet so here it is a j applet j applet uh, you are getting this uh, applet class from swing package see in awt also you have a uh, applet in swing also you have an applet so whatever applet you have in uh, swing that is nothing but the j applet okay so j app the applet class in awt class and it is not designed to work with the swing so the applet class is an awt is not designed to deal with the swing swing components so to use the swing components it is compulsory that you need to use the j applet from a swing package so if you want to design a applet by using a swing components so instead of the simple applet you need to write j applet okay so j applet use all the methods from a awt package as well as from a swing package okay if you are using a j applet that particular uh, applet use the different methods different uh, properties from a awt package as well as from a swing package okay now see here one more uh, thing is it provides the all the functionalities of the awt applet as well as it supports menu bar see actually uh, when we did applet program so there there is no menu bar and all only empty window will be displayed but here in case of j applet here you can display the menu bar also and you can add different components okay and whenever you want to add any component easily you can add to the j applet so for the, in order to create a j applet we have only one constructor that is j applet now you can see the example program here i am importing javax dot swing okay because here i want to use j applet so whenever you want to use j applet it is compulsory that you should use javax package javax swing package see here public see it is an applet as I already said there is an applet maximum uh, you try to create that class as a public so public class welcome applet extends j applet okay in case of uh, previous program it extends only the applet class so it is a uh, here i am using j applet okay now public welcome applet is a constructor now here what i am using what i am uh, displaying you see add add method is used to add the different components which component i am adding here one label i am adding label is nothing but the uh, name label welcome to java okay and where i am displaying that at the center i am displaying okay add is a method it is used to add the component and which component i am adding j label and uh, what is the label actually what is the string welcome to java next you see j label dot center so whatever label is there no that label is displayed at the center of the applet okay it is not compulsory but uh, you can set the position also now if it is an applet only you can generate the dot class file 
now whatever applet is generated that you should add inside the applet you see here inside the uh, html file html in the body section you see applet code equals to welcome applet dot class see here welcome applet here is the name of the java right after compiling that a class file j is generated that we should add inside the html program so welcome applet so whatever code is there in the java program that is displayed on the web page because here html is nothing but the web page code it is now the next one is the next container is j panel see j panel frame uh, maximum 90 percent same both are used to add the components only ma uh, minor difference are there between a j panel and the j frame see j panel is a part of the spring package only and it is also container okay container means it's it can store the different components see remember one point it is a container you should uh, uh, what you should imagine is we are going to add some components on that container okay and the only the difference is in frame we have a different titles different menu bars and all but here in j panel we don't have a title bar that's it that is the difference and uh, here in order to create j panel what constructors we are using first one is a j panel it is a default constructor it will create only the panel no parameters inside this constructor the next you can see j panel boolean is a double buffered it is used to create a new j panel with a flow layout means whatever uh, components you are adding that will be displayed in a row next to layout manager you can give the layout specified layout you can give now you see the example program here import java.awt and swing two packages i am including what is the name of the class here panel example constructor panel example because name of the class and the name of the constructor should be same now you see j frame first i am creating a frame j frame new panel next you see panel equals to new j panel so here frame is not compulsory uh, panel is compulsory now panel set to boundaries what is the size of the panel four sides i am giving left top right bottom four directions i am giving next what is the background of the panel gray color so i am displaying one area with a gray color and uh, boundaries also i have given next uh, here b1 b1 is nothing but the button see after the background color you can see in the next line b1 set to boundaries if you are creating it may be a button it may be a text field it may be a text area whatever it may be for each and every component there should be a boundaries coordinates four coordinates should be there left right top and bottom okay it may be a text field it may be text area whatever component you are adding on the frame you are adding on the panel for each and every component there should be a four coordinates right so set boundaries uh, first i am creating a button button what is the label of the button button 1 and uh, boundaries four coordinates 5 50 100 80 30 next what is the background color of that uh, button is yellow gray color panel gray color background window next on that window i am creating a one button label of that button is a button 1 and what is the color of that button yellow now next i am creating one more button and uh, j button b2 new j button now again for the second button also i am giving the boundaries 100 100 80 30 now for that also i am giving a background color see background color is an optional if you won't give anything white background you will get so here i am giving a background color color dot green so first button color is yellow second button color is green now i am adding this button 1 and button 2 to the frame two buttons to the frame so, sorry two buttons to the panel because panel dot add b1 panel dot add b2 you see f dot add panel and i am adding pan panel to the frame so you can see the output here first frame have created see what is the label of the frame panel example just a minute i will show you see in the first line 
j frame f equals to new j frame in the brackets what I have given panel example ok so as already said frame you will get title bar panel example now this grey color is there no that grey color is called as a panel on that panel how many buttons I have added two buttons one is yellow and one is green right now next components like uh, components you have in awt you know in the same way we have components in our swing also first one is a button button means uh, see if you have uh, entered something and you want to submit to the server means you need to click whenever you will click the data is submitted to the server so that is possible clicking means there should be a button we always will click on the button and always buttons perform some action okay and that is why whenever you are using a button no it is compulsory that you should use the action action listener interface okay so here j button is also one component see class example main method inside the main method first i am creating a frame after the frame i am creating a button j button b equals to new j button b is an object of which class j button and what is the label of that button click me now as i already said whatever component it should be first you should give the object next you should set the boundaries of that object total how many boundaries four uh, four coordinates 40 90 85 20 now after creating an object we should add that button to the frame okay it may be a panel or it may be a frame whatever you are creating whatever container you are creating you should add that button to the frame or uh, here actually we are using frame no so a is object of the frame we are adding that uh, we are adding this button to that frame now size of the frame see here what is the label of the button click me so whenever you are clicking something will be displayed or something will be submitted to the server so that is why always we should use action listener here now text field see example student name you will display one rectangular box there is nothing but the text field only we can enter one line of text term using a text field see here again i am creating a frame next i am creating a text field what is the object here b again for uh, text field we are giving the boundaries next we are adding that to the frame same as it is see this is a text field only one line of text one rectangular box will be displayed in that you can enter the text no same scroll bar also first you should create the frame next you should create the object for the scroll bar next you should give the boundaries next whatever scroll bar is there that should be added to, to the frame and the size of the frame is 300 300 300 width and 300 height that's it this is a scroll bar next j panel class Lord just now i have explained j panel class first we will create the frame next we will create the panel and we will add the panel to the frame now menu so menu means it is a collection of different options you can also create a frames using a swing okay so here j menu menu see here a1 a2 are the options j frame first time creating a frame next time creating a menu and the options i am giving a different options here a1 and a2 new menu item see whatever options you are adding to the menu now that are called as a menu items first one is example and the second one is a example one and that the items are added to the menu that's it here you can see m1 add menu m1 is actually one option that we are adding to the menu okay so like this frame uh, frame uh, boundaries uh, set size everything uh, is same for all the buttons all the components next you need to create objects for all the components you need to add that components to the frame this is common for all the components see frame i am creating next i am creating the uh, list next i am adding different options to the list see like this this is common for all the components see, combo box also same we are creating a frame 
next uh, you can see four uh, options four boundaries we are giving next uh, we are adding the two options see this is a, or we can say that it is a drop down menu so whatever items you are adding that you should give next layout manager see layout manager already i explained in a ability means arrangement when you are adding more than one component how that uh, component should be added to the screen that is nothing but the layout manager border layout means you can give four sides left right top bottom wherever you want to display the components you can display floor layout means whatever components you have all the components will be displayed in a single row grid uh, grid bag layout means uh, according to your requirement you can change the you can increase the height and width of the different components means there is no fixed uh, height and width of the components so, so depends on your requirement you can arrange the element and you can increase the size of the element means you can increase the height of the element you can increase the width of the element you can decrease the height so depends on your requirement you can design uh, different elements in a grid back layout so this is about swing the next class i'll uh, explain uh, one more topic thank you